Hello everyone and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today joining us in the studio is Dan Kelly, VP Marketing from D-Link. Dan, how are you doing today? Doing well, how are you doing? I'm very well, sir. Thank you very much. So I see you brought us uh, a, a new router from D-Link. Can, uh, can you tell us a little bit about this? Oh, we absolutely did. And this is definitely a unique router. It's a gaming router, so it, the title alone tells you there's something different about it. Um, as our latest and greatest, it's on the latest standard, which is 802.11ac which are familiar with N and before that there was G and B. Mm -hmm. So it's utilizing the latest and greatest in terms of the Wi-Fi standard. Mm. On the back of the, the unit itself, it's got gig ports, so it's going to be very fast on the wired side and certainly on the wireless side as well. It's got a slew of features in terms of the hardware side. It's mm. got WPS, an on and off button, even has a USB port so you can share printers and files and more. But really the, the cool feature, or the, you know, the secret sauce, if you will, of this router is what we call stream boost and it's hmm. a, it's really taking over the interface of the router sort of familiar what with what a router interface typically looks like mm -hmm. uh, this is worlds different this is a I'd say a, a really a revolution in the, the networking industry because it's going to in real time show you not only what every device is that's mm -hmm. on your home network hmm. uh, but it's also going to show you every app that's running and it's so intelligent that it's going to know everything that's running so that it's giving in the bandwidth accordingly. So if you have limited wow. bandwidth, uh, let's say it's you know eight megs or 10 megs coming into the home mm -hmm. and you have all of these different devices now that are connecting and trying to get that bandwidth, mm -hmm. this, this router is again worlds different than how other routers have handled traffic in the past. So it does what's called traffic shaping, which is essentially giving every device exactly what it needs in terms of bandwidth, not too much and not too little. Okay, so basically what it is is a, an advanced form of QoS. And uh, d how does that uh, know intelligently all the time what types of programs people are using out there? Well, that's really the, one of the cool features is that it actually is going to use a cloud-based service. So it's going to use the collective pool of everybody using this router. Mm -hmm. So as new games come on the market or say YouTube has a new way that it handles the streaming of its 1080p stream, it's actually going to be able to pick that up because it knows people are using it or maybe it's a new iPhone or a new you know Galaxy phone out there. So it's going to wow. understand that. It's going to use all of that collective intelligence from everybody that's using this and then mm -hmm. build that back into the router on a real-time cloud-based service so that it's always going to be up to speed with the latest and greatest in terms of new apps and new devices on the network. Okay. I do want to mention too, we do have a link in the description for the overview of this particular product. This video will actually center uh, all of its attention on the Stream Boost technology itself. Yeah. So speaking on that, um, do you want to go ahead and uh, show us the setup of what we're going to have here and then we'll go into a small demo of how this works? Sure, absolutely. So we are uh, talking about traffic shaping. So mm -hmm. We talk about all of these devices and all of these apps that are running. Well, it's all about the intelligence of the, rou the router to be able to understand what's running mm -hmm. and then allocate it accordingly. So if you have stuttering of your Netflix video or, you know, in this case, a game that might be, you know, lagging, mm -hmm. you definitely want to make sure you have the, the bandwidth, at, you know, allocated accordingly. And so out of the box, um, it's going to be able to look at everything and allocate it. But what we have here is we have sort of an extreme setup going on. So mm. uh, what we're actually going to show is on... Computer one here, uh, we're going to be running videos at 1080p. We're going to be doing you know, three iTunes downloads of very large files. In the middle here is actually the, the router interface. So you can see the topology of what's going on in the home network. And then we're going to click into each device so you can see actually what's running. Mm -hmm. And then this too, we're actually running three BitTorrents in the background as well. And then over on the my right, the audience left, uh, we actually have the game running, so which is obviously the most important of everything that we're seeing here. <laughs> but really, what we try to do is just you know have a, an extreme setup here where we have multiple going downloads going on from iTunes and BitTorrent, 1080p video, um, and the, all of that is you know running at the same time. But you'll see that the ping on the game is going to be extremely low, which is you know very important. So it's going to look at all of those different types of things going on mm -hmm. and say, well, okay, the game gets priority and it's going to make sure that it gets not again mm -hmm. too much too little mm -hmm. but it's going to look at everything else like a bit torn in iTunes and automatically put that lower down the totem pole if you will to make sure that everything else that really needs the bandwidth gets it. 
Okay, fantastic. So what you're basically saying is we're simulating uh, a standard household where someone could be downloading some iTunes music uh, as well as watching some streaming video. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be having another computer representing the gaming. And they'll be playing TF2, I think, in this instance. That's right? what we're playing here. Okay, perfect. And, uh, and then we're going to monitor the ping to see how much uh, this additional uh, load on the network is actually going to take on the ping and the, the latency of the game. Yep. So. And you'll actually be able to see the intelligence of the router itself, where we'll actually upscale the video from, say, a 720p to a 1080p. And you'll see in the Stream Boost interface, which is really the router interface, mm -hmm. it's going to be able to automatically identify it mm -hmm. and then upscale it and say, in terms of essentially giving it additional bandwidth to say, okay, it's now a 1080p video, give it this much more so that it's going to still run smooth but not affect the game and other things that are critical. Now, I have one last question about the, the Stream Boost before we actually start into the demo itself. Sure. Um, it, it, if I'm not into cloud-based anything, do, me as a consumer, mm -hmm. could you offer me anything? Well, during the installation and the setup, we do ask you, so it's an opt-in. If you mm -hmm. choose to participate, mm -hmm. which we're not going to you know, collect your name and all of that, it's really just looking at that collective usage to, to say, okay, here's the, all of the, the devices that are running and all the apps that are running. So if you choose to opt out, you can still get the benefits, but it's going to be via a firmware update. So if you're familiar with you know, firmware, it's you know, basically software for the router that you can download on a periodic basis, and then you get the upgrade that way. But if you opt into the cloud-based service, you do get the real-time update. So if a new device is identified, we build that intelligence in. It could be that same day or you know, very soon afterwards. That will automatically update. Uh, itself on those that have opted in, but otherwise it's via firmware. Okay, so firmware maybe once a month or however often you would normally update the firmware as opposed to up to the day updates. Absolutely. So yeah, roughly about a, once a month is when we release new firmware. Oh, once a month. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, roughly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold us to yeah. it. Right? <laughs> sometimes um, you know more often, sometimes not as much. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Well, uh, I think uh, without much further ado, we should take a look at the demo setup and actually get this going. Absolutely. So what we're looking at here is actually the, the DGL5500, our D-Link gaming router. And this is the actual interface here of the router itself. So we talk about Stream Boost a lot. This is actually what is um, the topology of this network that we have as a demo running here today. So you can see the router here is in the front. You're seeing your up and down speed. We've actually limited it to a 10 megabit uh, pipe coming in for this demo. And then you can see in each corner uh, we have the three laptops running here that you see, and we also went ahead and added a, an iPhone over here that's going to be streaming some movies as well. So every time you add a new device, it's going to automatically recognize it, identify it, put it into the topology of the, of the network, so it's really easy to see everything that's going on. And you can see actually the, the bandwidth meters that are going to and from each device, which is essentially just the up and down speed. Now if I click into the router itself, you're going to see those same devices uh, that are connected, but in a little bit of a different view here. So it's going to, again, show you the up and down speed that's being used by each, as well as the overall up and down for the entire network. Now, as mentioned, we have a lot of things going on here. So I'm actually going to click into to some of these here. You can see this is one of the heavier uses, which is, with, is this traffic here, which is actually, you can see we have a BitTorrent going, and then general traffic on this uh, router itself, which is the, the core laptop. Now, if we actually went into another device here, this is the actual gaming PC on the left, where you can see it's automatically identified that it's Team Fortress 2 that's playing. And we're actually just watching another player right now. But if you keep an eye on the ping in the bottom right, you can see that it's still maintaining a, about a 15 uh, ping, which is actually really good for a game and allows you to have that nice, smooth motion video. But again, we have a ton of things going on in the home network here. So, Essentially on the gaming PC, all you have is the game itself. And games themselves don't use that much traffic. It's talking to and from the server. But most of the horsepower is obviously happening on the, the PC itself. It's, what's more important is everything else that's happening on the, on the home network. So if we actually click over here, and if we were to scroll down just a bit, this is the PC on the right, where you can actually see that we have iTunes going, which are three downloads of movies going in the back. And then we have a video here, which is at 360p. Now, one of the cool things about Stream Boost is that if I go over here to this PC and I actually upgrade the video to 1080p, if you watch over here, you can see that it's now instantly recognized that it's now a 1080p video instead of the 360p. 
and essentially will get rid of the 360p. It's now allocating that additional bandwidth so that everything again runs smooth. So the intelligence again in this router is like none other where it's going to automatically know every device that's on that home network but again down to the app itself and automatically know whether it's a 1080p, 360, 720 video and again not give it too much and not too little so that everything's running as optimal and as smooth as it possibly can. The router interface lets you do you know, other things as well where you can actually go in and set hard priorities. If you click in the priority list you can easily just take a device up or down the, the ladder if you will in terms of priority so if you do have that gaming PC you certainly want to ensure that that one is always going to be at the top of the ladder. Exactly. You can then go over into advanced um, settings of course you know that might be more uh, tweaking that you want to do on the overall network. You can click on status uh, to see you know general router information and there's a lot of other things that you can do in here as well. Okay so we we talk a lot about the game running smooth and you can see again the, the entire home network here um, but it's also probably important to mention that if you look at the video over here, which again we've upscaled the 1080p, it is running extremely smooth as well. So you don't get any of those skips or lag that you know or buffering that you might see on the video as well. So you have the iPhone here that's running smooth video. You have the laptop here running at 1080p. You have iTunes going on there. You have BitTorrent going on here. And again, the game itself is running very very smooth, still at a 15. Ping. Now if we hop back over to the router interface, again we got the topology network, we went in and we looked at priorities, we've looked at the bandwidth usage by device, but you can also you know, play around and really get into all different types of information here. And if I click on statistics, it's going to show you, you know, usage by you know, amounts of time, which here is you know, by minutes. You can actually click into usage by data, where it's actually going to show you all of those different applications in terms of how much usage in terms of bandwidth. Um, and then activity tracker as well, which is you know really cool, where it's actually going to show you the optimal, good, or even best effort. And those are the three classifications that we're essentially putting traffic into. But you can see how optimal the entire network is running on a on a, on a very cool way to look at all of that data. Hmm. Uh, so you can see Team Fortress 2 has been running at green optimal level for for quite some time. But again, it's going to look at all these different types of data uh, streams and make sure again that it's going to get the optimal. Uh, experience overall. So again, very cool way to see the entire network, to drill into devices, to actually drill into applications, but all of that is being done in real time and the intelligence is in this router that's again like none other on the market today uh, to be able to look at all of that bandwidth and allocate and you know, shape that traffic accordingly. Nice. So if you're a gamer, you definitely need the D-Link Gaming Router. <laughs> I can definitely see some advantages there, absolutely. Okay, guys, that wraps up our video with D-Link today. Dan, thank you so much for coming in. I uh, really appreciate it. It was very informative. And we hope to see you in here soon, because I'm sure there's a couple more of these in the future coming out, I'm sure, right? Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, we always have something new coming down the pike, for sure. Excellent. Fantastic. Well, if you guys like this video, go ahead and click the Like button. If you haven't already done so, click Subscribe, and we'll see you soon.